morning uh, guys and girls just a short video today um, I've got some of these tubes um, they're called a hollow cathode uh, spectral lamp um, this is a neon field you can get lots of different types uh, these are 279.3 mn um, I'm pretty certain that relates to the uh, uh, the frequency, not the frequency, the wavelength, sorry, there we go. Um, and they take a high voltage DC power supply to run. Um, I've got one set up down here. Unfortunately, this one came in the post. They came all the way from Russia. and mm, You can't see it on camera. Um, but there is actually a crack, you can just make out there's a crack there, so it's obviously lost all of its neon. Um, so basically the setup today is we've got the blue variac there, uh, safe block there, got a new one, I'm using a black one. So I'm going to close that down, the variac is on but it's on 0 volts, so obviously there will be a small amount of power going through it, but I'm not going to be touching it from now. Um, and then you've probably recognised this from the power supply for my laser tubes um, the ones that I was using for the laser tubes was like this because it was a double um, dual laser and uh, I got sent a single laser supply so I'm just running off those because basically it's just a high voltage um, supply it runs off a little thousand volt transformer got a doubler on there, it's actually more than a doubler, it's got a multiplier on there and a rectifier as you can see there with the caps uh, diode, sorry, um, and then you've got these resistors for current limiting um, so these actual things come from um, a tester, it's uh, an atmospheric tester um, but they look, you know, they look quite interesting, I was quite interested in seeing what they're like the broken one is being uh, donated to Steve, Steve Lane, very, very, very good friend of mine. Um, obviously it won't work, but he collects glass, as in vacuum tubes, things like that. So it only seems fair, it was only going in the bin if I was there, you know, if I didn't know someone that collected things like that. But for him, that's sort of like something that he'll quite enjoy. So yeah, that'll be on its way to you at some point, Steve. Um, so right, let's chatting let's get this thing fired up now I've never actually seen these before um, as I say they're a hollow cathode neon yeah hollow cathode neon tube <laughs> I'm pretty certain that's right spectral tube that's the one that's what I was looking for so I'm going to turn it up on the variac and you can see at uh, less than 10 volts that's actually 8 volts on the variac it started to switch on there um, obviously it's going through a thousand volt transformer and then the step up so it's not 10 volts going into that um, I'll keep turning it up and you can just gradually see let's see if I can get a bit of a closer shot actually this is pretty cool how it all lights up uh, turn, the, turn the camera around and get, get on it a little bit better why not this is a uh, bit of shambles done quite a bit of tidying up so I had some more bench space I haven't actually got anything sorted out properly yet right there we go so you've got a bit of a, a better view and I'll give you an end on view in a second as well you can see the top plate there is uh, starting to glow quite a lot and starting to come on underneath between the two plates 